Hi, I'm Steve Pemberton. And I'm not. We are half a league. Yeah, the other two have not yet turned up. So we're going to do this thing. We're doing our first ever unboxing, isn't it? Yes, we've never done one, have we? We've, no. We know of it, the idea of unboxing. And we've been asked to unbox this. Ladies and gentlemen, vinyl cuts. Oh, something loose in it. But look at that. A depiction, first of all, on butcher's paper of the creature that Edward created. The Beast created, of Royston Vasey. The Beast of Royston Vasey, which was a, a pig on a monkey body. Is it? With a goat's ears. Uh, with horns. a goat's horns, yeah. Horns, yeah. I think so. So that's what that is. And who did those animals belong to? Oh, I can't remember. Don Estelle. Oh, from yeah. The oh, I thought Zoo. you meant in the real life. <laughs> she was arrested, wasn't she, for cruelty to animals? Yeah, I will we'll gloss over but that. But we got over that. Okay, so let's open this first of all. Look, all coming off. So it's called League of Gentlemen's Vinyl Cuts. I, you know, to do with Hilary Briss, Butcher. Some blood on it. Unbox the box. It weighs a ton, so if you're going to get it, be carefully your back. <laughs> and I'm undoing it. This is unboxed. It's Literally like a trivial unboxing. pursuit game. Look at it. Wow, a lovely smell, first of all. I'm getting notes of newness. Yeah, well, that's the front look. Imagine getting this, it'd be brilliant. Look at this, the top item is Voodoo Lady, which is a seven inch single by Creme Brulee. And there it is. Look at that. <sighs> Did they ever release it? Uh, this is the first release. It's a never ending single, so if you put the needle on the record, it will keep going. Yeah. That Tony is. Cluedo, Bob Chagall, Patch Lafayette, <laughs> and Ian Tully. That's just Ian Tully, isn't it? Yeah. Hasn't, didn't you give him a name? No. There you go. So that's creme brulee. I miss I miss the ones where, where they had a you know like a polo and there was the hole missing there and you had to get a special piece that went in. Yeah. Some of the singles I got from Malcolm's Music Land in Chorley, I like that. But there you go. So that's the first item, seven inch single of Voodoo Lady by Creme Brulee, the full um, song never been available before. What's on side B, isn't it? And there isn't a B side now. No, just blank. Smooth. Like Jamaican ginger cake. That's what it should be. Yeah. Um, and then, look, you get this lovely thing. We signed those on the tour bus when we were on our recent tour. You shouldn't. We spent hours and hours oh and hours God. signing those. It was those. piles of, like, boxes and boxes of them. Mm. But they're all, yeah, people have asked, is it a print or is it real? But it's real, isn't it? Mm. And this is before we had our work done, obviously. Uh, yeah, when yeah, the tour yeah. came around, they said we, we had uh, £100 pounds each on dental work we were allowed to spend. So I think it's been money well spent. Yeah. So you get that, you put that in the frame. You get that in. And then look at these, brilliant artwork from Graham Humphreys, who's done lots of our posters for our Inside Number 9 series, which mm. is another thing. But you get these four, which I think are the front covers of the albums themselves. You could almost put them in frames. Well, that's what I'm saying, yes. So, so I was about to say that, you just this is it. This is what, Series 1? That's the radio. That's the radio series. There we go, got a radio mic. This is series, series one. one. Series There's the Beast of Royston Vasey. Yeah. Very particular things, look. Look at that. That's that's from Legs of Kimbo's Kimbo. play. Everybody There's the out. flying tortoise. Yeah. They're so great detail. Really de good detail. Who's yeah. that? I can't see upside that's down. That's Francis that Cox. Oh. <laughs> Pardon me, she? No, it's an old She's lady. She's the old lady. And then Lazaru from series two. Briss. Very, and I'm glad he did these two. Yeah. This is... um. Morris and uh, Sam. Sam. And the Butchers. Her Lips, Appearance. Yeah. Was he Series 2? There's Ross Tied Up. Yeah. Pauline as an Owl. <laughs> Pauline the Owl. And then Series 3, Jeff in London. Mr. Breastpinched, Professor Breastpinched. There's a lot of you in that one. I know. Well, I oversaw the. Reese. Reese. Oh, right. Okay. So you had the approval. I was like, well, I wonder if. <laughs> <clears throat> Beautiful, beautiful artwork. They are really lovely, aren't they? Look at that. There's what's he called? Like sort of seventies um, horror films. Yeah. Very anyway. jello. So that's you get those separate from the actual um, records themselves, which is lovely. Mm -hmm. And then this is you know what? This is almost too good, isn't it? I think honestly, it's the best thing we've ever produced. It is. It actually is. It's the it's so lovingly detailed. Look, and here's the first of the albums. They weigh a ton. We, each one of us, took um, the time to write new sleeve notes, didn't we? We did. So who did this one? 
This Mark Gatiss. Mark Gatiss did the radio series. So here we are, and that's that. And then look inside. You know what that's a depiction of? Um, no. Mau Mau. Oh, of course. Cherries. The plum. Cherries are really small, aren't they? <laughs> and the pineapple. Yeah. Of course it is death, death by Mau Mau. Death by Mau Mau. How about that? Such a fine detail. That is so clever. I didn't I even know. get that. Well, and on go. the back you get the sleeve nuts. Written by Mark Gatiss. And what did he write? There are really how many... Uh, look at these there, because on each individual uh, record... Yeah, it doesn't you've stop got, there. You've got the different character depictions. So we've got Mickey, Judy... Hang on, all that. There's so much of this stuff. And Pauline. Pauline. Look. Hiya. So, and let's... Oh, my God, and the, the vinyl is coloured. Yeah. Are they all different colours or the same? I think they're all... This same is like Pauline's one. lipstick colour. This is the exact colour that yeah, I that, wear. That's right, yeah. Same look. And there's Stella. There's Stella. It's a never-ending... It's relentless. So this is six it's, episodes of On the Time of the League of Gentlemen. Interesting beauty. because we didn't call it Royston Basie on the radio series. There's Judy. We called it Spent. And there's Iris. Yeah, we called it Spent as a sort of ironical... Oh, look, and there's even quotes. Stop it, please, Pauline. Oh, very good. Stop it, Pauline, please. Oh, Iris, where do I begin? I don't even remember saying that. This is It's like a script book as well as you can read along with the... Um... We'd have to. Yeah, just can't see it. So there we go. That's on the top. Yeah, you don't need definitely. to watch the program if you've got all this to look at. No, that's why it's good. Do you want to get another? Do one? you have a record I'm doing player? all the unboxing. I do have a record player. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Oh wow! So you but can play a new it. one though. You know, like when it looks old, new. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. This is series one with Steve Notes by uh, Steve Notes. <laughs> Steve Notes. <laughs> Sleeve Notes by Steve Pemberton. Um, really interesting and, and characterful sleeve notes on this one. Yeah. Um, and this is series one. Inside you've got the Denton's wallpaper. Very good. Partly inspired by the sort of shining. Yeah, I think so. It was more... It's coming to favour now, isn't it? The, the look of the Denton's. But when we did it, it was old-fashioned. You, you heard, heard the man tubs get undressed. There he is. Another classic there quote. Now this is on black vinyl. So this is series one. Again, there's three... Are there three yeah. discs? Yep. And so I suppose, is it everything on the programme? So Stella. There might be bits which you've never seen it before. You think, what's going on here? You might do, but that's part of Adds to the intrigue. using your imagination. And look, there he is. The there Queen. There's. And within each one, of course, again, on the thing, actual records you've got. Look, there's Harvey Toadface Denton. Yeah. And Val, a witch, as she's known. We wanted to make them witches. Is it green? No, it's black. It's black. Mm -hmm. It's got a really green good. hue. What? It's got a green hue. It's got a green hue. But it doesn't stop there. No, there's more. Like Jiminy Cricket said. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. There's, there's more. There's more. Series two with sleeve notes by Rishi Smith. Yeah, really good. Uh, interesting yeah. sleeve notes. The second best sleeve notes of the whole box, yeah, aren't they? Probably, really? yeah, yeah. Um, so this, again, you've got the lovely artwork. Inside, you've got, what's that? Blood. Is it like a Rorschach thing? What do you see there? What do you see, we'll see. Mr. Shearsmith? I see a man. <laughs> a man? I don't know what I see. I see like Tubbs has put her face in some blood and pressed against it. Yeah. Like her book, a sort of thing. I think she's, she saves blood. She keeps yeah. her own blood. She thinks. And there's day. more blood. You'd have yeah. thought it was a horror. I oh, know, a horror thing. Oh, here we go. It's H. Briss, so it's obviously butcher's paper. He wants to paint me naked. Did you ever say that? Oh, yeah, she did. I remember now. Yeah? And look at this. You won't believe this. <gasps> That's beautiful. It really is, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Who's that? Is that him? Oh, my God. That's horrific. A fish with a wig It on. looks like... Um, who's that BBC presenter? Mark Wilson. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Mark that looks a little bit like you. Um, and they look like Damien Hurst spin um, paintings, don't they? Yeah, my wife. Because they put a little drop of blood on there and yeah. Thompson Adams that is, played that. You'd be very happy sat listening to that. There's who Ollie, does that look like? Ollie Plimsolls. I don't know. There's Ollie Plimsolls and there's Benice. Yeah. So we've Pick got our earrings on. There's two. And again, you've got three discs. You would never have to leave the house again if you buy this. 
And there's Chinnery. Chinnery. Strawberry Blonde and Les McQueen. There he is. <laughs> so there we go. That's, That's series, series two. Series two. Wow. And then finally, if you can believe it, we come to the end of the unboxing. Series three. A curious series in some people's eyes. And who did the sleeve notes? Sleeve notes were by Jeremy Dyson. So, less said about that, the better. <laughs> but look, what do we get inside? Wow. See, when I was a kid, I would have put this in a fr I would have put this actually on the wall. In fact, I'd have had an entire wall with all of these on it, like the full open gatefold thing. But how come on top of another? Yeah. Bl blue tack, a blue tack them on your wall. Yeah. That's what I would have done. Would you? Yeah, definitely, if I loved it. Turn again, Jeff Tip. So there you are, series three. Let's look inside. Oh my goodness. What's that say? Oh, you, are you broad-minded? <laughs> this is Lance, the joke shop owner. Behold the Medusa. That's from Alvin. And a nice orange. I'm a married man, Mrs. Levinson. Look. Here orange you've got vinyl. Lazarou. And here you've got his alter ego, Keith Drop. I love the uh, colour vinyl. No, it's good, isn't it? Why orange for this series, I wonder? Don't know. Orange Dove. Orange Dove. Possibly. I'm guessing. Pam Dove in series three. She yeah, was a little she bit, does. Um, Diary of Frank. Diary of Anne Frank. And there's Jeff Tips. Yeah, turn again. Wow, I can't what take all that What am I doing trying in? to put that in there? That's for that. Yeah. Idiot. So there we go. It's without doubt the finest, most beautifully produced piece of merchandise we have ever it had is. in our name. It is. I don't know Nothing why. Nothing to do with us, of course. No. All down to Demon. Where is it available to buy? Is it available to buy online? It is available to buy online. And I think when you watch this, it'll, it will appear where you can go and get it. Because there are only a few left, it's sold out, it's done very well. I'm not surprised. No, of course it is. Beautiful. If you're a fan of us, all the little, well, yeah, yeah, us, actually. Yeah. It's really good. It's a beautiful thing. So um, we're very proud to be part of it. Yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed that unboxing. You could, all that experience could be yours. So go and get it. League of Gentlemen special stuff. Really is. Final cuts. <laughs>